This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the fade brush, which is a tool that thousands of newborn photographers love to use for their studio sessions. It makes it really easy to get that perfect seamless background, especially when you're working on blankets or any sort of props. So I'm going to go over the process of actually installing it and then show you on these beautiful images right here that I have up from Stephanie, Jessica, and Jesse. So to get started, once you download your frayed brush, you're going to notice a folder and you're going to have it labeled right here. Now a lot of photographers assume it's actually an action, it's actually a brush. So you have to install it as a brush. And it's really easy to do. So you have it right here. I like to just double click it. Automatically your Photoshop will open up. And when you have that step completed, you're going to notice that when you open your brush palette, you're going to have two brushes right here, the very last ones. I already had mine installed, so once you click it again, you're going to have it installed right here. These are the two different brushes. Now I'm going to close this up real quick and go back here. The first thing you want to do is open up an image into your Photoshop, like this. And you're going to see you have your layers right here. The important thing is that you create a brand new layer on top of your actual image. Otherwise, when you stamp your fade brush on it, it's going to be on your actual image and you won't be able to erase anything. So the goal is to have your main layer right here. And then once you're on your brush right here, open your brush palette and go to the first one, for instance. Now you can see this one is going to do the fade brush on the entire image. And this one's going to do more from top to bottom. So that's the one I'm going to use. You can close that and I'm going to open, I'm using my brackets right now to get it bigger. You can also um, go in here and slide it to the max right here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now you can see that when I have the brush right here on the left and right, I want to make sure in the top, I want to make sure that it's going over my image. Now, since the fade brush actually fades, you don't have to worry about the bottom. So even though it, you see this harsh line across the image, it's gonna be fully faded. So to do that and get the perfect color, what I like to do is hold down my option key, which will bring this little tool up. I click right here. My goal is to get the color to match around the baby. So click right here. Another option would be to actually click on this right here and then choose. You can see how that will actually select whatever color you're on. So either way works. Now my fade brush that I'm going to stamp on my layer is going to match that color. Make sure that your opacity at the top right here is set to 100. And then all you have to do is do one click right here. Now once that's done, you're going to switch over to your eraser. You can hit E for that as a quick shortcut. Or go right here and click. And then all you have to do is erase where the baby is. Basically where you do not want your fade brush to be. And you can see I'm just going around the edges here very quickly. Like that. And if you want it more feathered, just make your brush a little bit bigger and go around like that and that will also feather it softly. But the goal is to have a perfectly smooth background with the right color that matches the image while also having the actual baby not being covered with the fade brush. So now you can see on the layer right here, I have the main image and then I have the fade brush over it with the areas erased. Now that's the before and after. Now let's say you had your newborn image open and let's just pretend like you opened up your image, you made your new layer and you have your brush on the max possible size but it won't actually stretch over the left or right side. It's like too small, right? It's really easy to do that as well. So same process, you're gonna click to get your color, you're gonna stamp it onto your photo like this, and then you're gonna hit Command T, or go up here to do free transform, and that's not gonna allow me to move this around wherever I want. I take it to this corner, take this bottom corner and simply stretch it down, and then hit the check mark then switch to my eraser, and then the same process of just erasing where the baby is. So a lot of people, depending on what camera that they shoot with, if their image file is very large, they might have to take that extra step um, to resize the actual fade over their image to make it fit correctly. So both ways work. Typically when I'm using it, I don't have to worry about that. 
um, and it fits right over. But if you happen to run into an issue where the brush just will not fit over your picture, simply stretch it over. This took a little bit longer since I had to walk you through the steps, but just to show you how quickly it is, I'm gonna do a couple more. Again, I'm gonna be using this one. I'm actually gonna change it to the one that goes all over using my brackets to make it bigger right here. And now since the baby's more on this side, I want to have my circle right here. Again, it's gonna fade it. So, and I'm gonna select my color, which is right here. Make sure you make your new layer. A shortcut for that is Shift-Command-N and then Enter, which will create a new layer. And click. I switch over to my eraser using my shortcut E and erase where the baby is. Like so. There's the before and after. And if you wanted to, you can change the opacity right here, maybe down to maybe like a 30% erase on this angle. So that's that, that's complete. Okay, and here's another one, making my new layer, switching over to my brush. A shortcut for that is just to hit the letter B. I'm gonna be selecting this color right here on the side, make it big enough so it stretches, and hit it like that, and switch over to E to get on my eraser. And as you can see, this brush is super, super easy to use. Um, I've had so many newborn photographers email me thanking me for creating it because it really just speeds it up. I used to spend hours during my newborn sessions just brushing it perfectly here and trying to manually really get this perfect fade and it took me so much longer than just using this one stamp and that's it. It was really simple. So it's definitely a little handy tool to have. Here's the before and after. And again, if you want to feather it a little bit more right here, just change the opacity maybe to 30% or 20% and you can just kind of click around, fade a little bit more. Okay, and that was from Stephanie Bennett. Now we're gonna move to this one. And I'll go through these a little bit quicker just to show you. That looks good. And once you have your fade brush installed on your computer and you've used it a couple times, you'll quickly realize that this is really easy to use. Make sure I have the right color. that really go around that hairline so you don't have any of the fade brush on the baby like that When that's done, we're going to do these last two. And then this is going to be perfect for the circular fade brush. So I'm going to switch over to that. And my goal is to basically just cover the image. So I don't want to go too much bigger than the picture, but right around here would be perfect. 
and then click right here like that switch over to the eraser you're going to go around the image here to erase anything that you don't want such a pretty picture like so there's the before and after a little bit more on the toes before and after and the last one we're going to use is this one make my new layer switch over to the brush and we're going to use the one that's straight select the color that I want to use before and after. So you can see this is really, really easy to use and it is an amazing tool for anybody who specializes in newborn photography. Of course, these images are so beautiful as they are, but those looking to take it another step further and really get the background to be perfectly seamless. I think anybody who works with newborns knows the frustration of working and getting the fabric perfectly wrinkle free. So if you ever have issues with that, Download the tool, use the brush, and it will save you a ton of time.